IT and OT are converging. As building systems get smarter and the integration deepens, it becomes increasingly important to understand the underlying mechanisms behind these systems. For many IT systems, SNMP is a great place to start. Simple Network Management Protocol, or SNMP, is a widely accepted protocol that is used to monitor and configure devices on a network, as well as receive alerts directly from those devices. There are three main components to SNMP, the SNMP Manager, the SNMP Agent, and the MIB. First, let's talk about the SNMP Manager. The SNMP Manager, or Management System, is a separate computer or server that is responsible for communicating with the SNMP Agent devices on the network. The key functions of the Manager are to query the agents, get responses from the agents, set variables in the agents, and acknowledge one-way notifications from the agents. For KMC controls, our IoT platform KMC Commander acts as an SNMP Manager, gathering data points from devices and triggering actions. The second piece of this protocol is an SNMP Agent, a device on the network that you want to monitor. This includes IT components such as routers, data servers, workstations, printers, uninterruptible power supplies, and many other IT-centric devices. The third component of SNMP lies inside the SNMP Agent. The MIB, or Management Information Database, is a database in a device containing data points specific to that device. These can be provided to or configured by a manager. These data points are called Object Identifiers, or OIDs. Examples of OIDs include network status, runtime, disk RPMs, device temperatures, CPU and power usage, and other device-specific variables. The MIB file should be provided by the device manufacturer and uploaded to the manager in order to decipher received data. The MIB does not come natively with the agent itself. So now that we have a basic understanding of the pieces of SNMP, let's look at the different versions being used in the field and how security can come into play. SNMP has three common versions, version 1, 2C, and 3. Version 1 is the simplest and oldest, dating back to the late 80s. It's easy to set up, but has little to no security. This is because of what are called community strings, which act essentially like a password to a device. If the SNMP manager request has the correct community string, the devices will respond to the query for information. If the string is wrong, the device simply doesn't respond. Most SNMP version 1 and version 2C equipment come pre-programmed with community strings set as public or private. It is recommended practice for network managers to change all strings to custom values. Version 2C is essentially identical to the first, but with some new features like sending less queries to get the same amount of information. On the technical side, this essentially gives you more flexibility and is recommended to use over version 1 if possible. Version 2C is the most common version of SNMP used today. Version 3 is the newest form of the protocol. It adds many security features lacking in previous versions. This includes both encryption, username and password authentication, as well as data validation. Each of these can be used together or separately. Version 3 is more complex to set up, but if you require security, this is definitely the route you should take and is highly recommended. This is just the surface of how SNMP works. To learn more about the protocol, visit snmp.com. And to learn more about any of the solutions from the building geniuses at KMC, please check out our other videos and visit us on the web at kmccontrols.com.